Hello, bonjour, comment ça va? Today we're not talking about disco balls, we're talking about hand tracking. Let's check out the apps we're going to be talking about. Let's go! Welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of VR. My name is Lazius K. So I went onto Wishful's YouTube channel and noticed that he had spoken about hand tracking and how it progressed since its early days. So I had to go and check it out for myself. This review is based on experimenting with all the different hand tracking VR experiments that you can find on SideQuest. If you're not familiar with SideQuest, it's basically another platform that enables you to download more VR apps via your computer directly onto your Oculus Quest. All right, let me share with you my top four Oculus Quest hand tracking VR experiences. Now let's talk about Trippy Fingers, which is probably one of the best hand tracking VR experiences that you can have right now on the Oculus Quest, because there really is no latency whatsoever. The fingers and the hands track everything that you do, and you get to experiment and create these wonderful rainbows of colors with kind of like paper cutouts that go everywhere. So depending on the movement of your hand, the, you'll be able to trace different shapes in this space with a background music that will go with it. So quite trippy, but also just fun and experimental. Cubism is another really fun hand tracking VR experiment experience because you get to be surrounded in this very clear, bright looking space and manipulate these objects that are just floating there. And you can really pinch them, tweak them, move them around. Everything is really fluid. There's tiny little music with some special effects sounds. It's just beautifully done. I can really see this experience to be much more full-fledged developed and brought onto the Oculus Quest in the future. Rock, paper, scissors is one of those ultimate classics where you battle it out against another AI. You'll hear a voice that does the countdown and then you go rock paper or scissors. And once you finish the round, all you have to do is pitch your finger and then you'll move on to the next round. Now, the movement of the hand tracking is very fluid. There's no latency whatsoever. Just really good fun. Of course, VR doesn't have to be so serious all the time. So let's talk about the Pope simulator where you get to simulate as the Pope and lift the crowd up from the ground with your hand or your palm of your hand. You look at them, you lift the hand up and then whoo, you can make them fly high into the sky and also, why not for the hell of it, explode pigeons that come and land next to you. It's just a really silly app, but I really like the fact that it's very fluid, everything works really well. And also the thought that you have magic powers in VR, just moving your hand towards something and making it move away. I mean, that's pretty cool. I can definitely see this kind of algorithm being used for other VR experiences in the future on the Oculus Quest. <laughs> VR Workout is another very interesting VR experiment because you get to use your hands with no controllers in order to do a VR workout. But I didn't really feature it as the top four because it's not defined yet, it's not finished, but definitely potential there. So I look forward to more. I'd like to give a quick shout out to those who went to watch the previous video and also commented, which is all about the ghost giant. You're awesome. Remember to leave some comments, your thoughts and suggestions below so that I can give you a shout out in the next video. Remember to like and subscribe, share some love so that you and I together, we can grow the community and have as many people in VR. Yeah, because that's what it's all about. Until next time, take it easy. And as always, DJ, take it away. 